crazy son of a bitch. That's not gonna stop us. I think there's someone in the kitchen. Are you... Are you Adam? Me? No, of course not. I don't have anything to do with all this foolishness. Never have. It's my son. I've told him time and time again, but he never listens. I've done my best to protect that boy, you know. I'm all he's got left in the world since his mama died, Mama. but it just wasn't enough. You can't blame yourself. Where is he your then? Where's I of Adam? He's in his room. Where else would he be? He's always in his room, staring at that screen for as long as he can. That's sad. This Look, had to do with it. I've made up my mind about this. I want to help you. This mess he's in, it's gone too far. I don't, I, I, I can't be part of this. What are you talking about? Oh, you don't understand. He's watching us. Right now, he can see us on his camera. He's very clever with this stuff. I never got my head around it. Just as much as I needed to, I guess. But not a lot. That's Give us the key to his room. I want to talk to him. Look, it's a trap. He knows why you're here, and he will kill you. But I'm upset because it's like... Both really of you. Your, your father like that? But he will not kill me. He won't dare. Why won't he dare? All these years. I've looked after him well. He owes me everything. Sir, your son is a psychotic. It breaks my he heart to you. do this now. But what choice do I have? He left me this. I was supposed to keep it for myself. But I want you to take it. Is there a key? He won't dare to kill his own father. And I won't let two innocent lives be lost because of him. Oh gosh, hurry up and get to the point, pretty What is it? Just take the damn thing. There's not much time. Didn't you hear me? Ah, He's favor, watching. Apurate, coño. Take the box, bro. Take the box. I don't know what it is, but take the box. What is it, Mrs. A? It's a shoe box. Idiot, look. Take it away. Get rid of it. He must see that I don't have it anymore. Shall we open it? Just open it. Why not? What is it? A gas mask. Oh, God. <gasps> Mitzi. We have to get out of here. Quickly. It's a gas mask. He's gonna kill him. He's going to poison us. Okay, then let's start running. Technically, if we break the window... Mm. That's not a lovely sight. So the... Whatever it was, one of the things must have been bleach and the other one must have been the other thingamabob. I forgot what it was. It's too late! Shit. Oh. Shit. 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 No! Stop that, Adam! You're going to kill your father! We'll never make it to the door! That room is filling up with gas too quickly! Yes, Put the mask can. on, Mrs. A. What about you? No, bro. You no, don't know. She I can't. Has if she dies, she You've got back. to. This She's is your only chance. Just don't worry about I... it. I no. I can't let you die. Not like this. It's my fault that you're here. I'm dying anyway. And you. You've got to live, Mrs. A. You'll live and you'll be happy again. It's okay you're... if she dies. Just trust me. You've been a great friend, Mrs. A. Stupid. I'm giving the last no. to Mitzi. You've got a date. And I'll make sure you turn up for it. I can't. There is no time to argue. I'll be fine. Now. Do it! Exactly, it's Mitzi we're talking about. Mitzi will survive. We, on the other hand, don't have to worry about it. Because she gonna come back. <laughs> I always Mitzi. come back. She's just... You know what? Think of a vegetable while I'm gone. <laughs>
Welcome home, darling. Thanks, Ma. I've been waiting for you. What took you so long? Turns out feeling sick Say what you've got to say and let's finish this. I'm tired of you. Tired of all this madness. I just need to get back. Very well. I'm not planning to keep you long. Let's go inside. I have one last job for you. There are still two candles left, Susan. You know how this works. A soul for a soul. Mm -hmm. And that's it. I blow out the last candle, and I'll never have to see you again. Only if you blow out the right one, I'll never bother you again. Isn't that what you want? But if you choose wrong, it will be your life, extinguished forever. Just take a deep breath and do it. But how should I know which one's right? That's the thing, Susan. You can't know that. In life, you can't always know the consequences before you make a decision. Haven't you learned that yet? That's not fair. Nothing is fair. You opened your heart talking to that doctor, and he butchered you like an animal. Then, those disgusting cannibals, they chop you up and cook you for dinner if you'd let them. And what about the man with the flowers? All that he wanted was to hear you play before he split your skull open. The way your husband treated you. The way your neighbors laughed at you for years, just for being different. You did not deserve all that, and yet it happened. I kind of re resonate with that. Am one. I forgetting something? Oh, yes. Of course. Most of all, was it fair that. Shut up! Your daughter. Just shut up, you ugly bitch! Mm. She called you ugly. Now I know who you really are. All those feelings that I had in me for years. Yeah, that bitter guilt and self-pity. That hatred for myself and everyone else. I hate that sound so much. You are that miserable illness that's consumed my heart all these years. You, always there, always. Every day I looked at you in the mirror. Like a dark cloud I couldn't see through. I let you take control of my life. I believed it was right to feel like this. But not any longer. This ends here. Then blow out the candle. Blow, right? I have... Screw it. No, I won't. I'm done playing your stupid little games. You won't tell me what to do anymore. I am stronger than you. Amen. I can close my eyes and you'll be gone. Blow out the candle. It's time to say goodbye, sister. I'm not gonna miss you. You will never leave this place without me. You need me. We are one. No. Tomato. <laughs> this is like, what the heck? You were thinking about a tomato, right? I'm coming, uh, tomato. Fight, it's either tomato or tomato. <laughs> Which one, how do you say it? Tomato is a fruit, silly. Who cares? I like tomatoes. So do I. But... I hate to disappoint you, but I was really thinking of onions. Like how she's not gonna question Why onions? Back from the dead. They're the saddest of the vegetables, of course. They make people cry. Oh. I... What happened, Mrs. A? 
I saw you die. And yet, you're here. Alive, like, if nothing's ever happened. Because she's fine. Well, let's put it this way. Everyone knows cats have nine lives. So do cat ladies, apparently. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but this time, I feel there won't be second chances. I'm down to one last life now. I can't afford to waste it. You are such a nutter, Mrs. A. You are absolutely fucking bonkers. <laughs> but I'm so happy to see you. Never, ever do that to me again, all right? I can happily promise you that, Mitzi. This is it. His room is through that door. It's time to face the eye of Adam. What are we waiting for? Let's, Let's do, do it. Oh, oh. <laughs> I was going to see if the old man was still there. This is his shower. Hmm, okay, not ominous at all. You're... You're the eye of Adam? A pathetic, wheelchair-bound invalid? Is this a joke? Do you... Do you know who I am? Do you know what you've done to me? You fucking murderer! Tonight, it's your turn to die. I wouldn't. I'm gonna paint this room with your brains and I'm gonna watch and smile. I swear to God I'll do it. It's not worth it. Well? Nothing to say? Nothing at all? Aren't you going to beg for your sad little life? I'm going to, which is why he wants you to kill him. Say something! Anything! Are these all the developers that worked on the game? Mitzi, where did you get that gun from? It doesn't matter. Please, Mrs. A. This is something I have to do. No, it's not. You are free to leave if you want. You don't have to be a part of it. Just try to understand. Beg for forgiveness, you scum. What the fuck is wrong with you? You don't believe I'm gonna shoot you, do you? Oh, I've dreamt of this moment for so long. Look at this man, Mitzi. He hasn't twitched a muscle since we entered the room. I think he's paralyzed. That's... That's impossible. He's lying to us. He's faking it. Do something. Talk for God's sake. I need you to answer me. I need to know. He won't answer you. He can't talk. Then how did he post all that stuff online? I'm look at my keyboard and his, but I'm not even lying. Uh, how... How did he do it? His mind. I think I know how. See that little device on his left eye? I've heard about these. It's a controller. It seems the only part of his body he can move is his eyeball. Controller connected to the computer tracks its movement, allowing him to... What? That's ridiculous. How do you even know such things? I'm a nurse? I've seen these before. <laughs> well, I've seen eye-controlled wheelchairs, but there's no reason why it wouldn't work with a computer. Jesus. That would explain the whole Eye of Adam thing. He really is just the eye. But... No. That doesn't change anything. He must die. He deserves nothing more. I bet he's gonna say, do it. Yep, that's what it is. I, yep, T. Yep, yep, yep. 
Don't. What? You arrogant shit. I will fucking do it. Just tell me one thing. One thing. Why? Why did you make Jack kill himself? It'll be a pleasure. Ready to die, scumbag? Look at these oxygen tanks. I don't think it's a good idea. What? Why not? I'm the one holding a gun here. And I will blow this bastard's brain out as soon as he looks at me. You hear me? Look at me. I want you to see what you've done. The pain you've caused me. Mitzi, that's not what I meant. Just put the gun down for a second. No! No. I can't do that, Mrs. A. I'm sorry. This is something I have to do. I have to. Can't you hear that hissing sound? These cylinders are clearly leaking gas. Please stay out of it. You'll make a whole room blow up. I don't care. Just leave me alone! You lied to me. You never said you wanted to kill him. Now, wasn't that quite obvious? I also thought it was obvious too. What did you think I wanted to do? Have a coffee with him? Chat about the weather or, or politics? Definitely For God's sake, I'm here because this son of a bitch needs to die. If I don't kill him now, You'll just carry on and more innocent people will lose their lives. Do you really want that? Because I don't. This isn't the way to do it. Just turn these computers off instead. No! He doesn't deserve to live after what he's done. And who are you to serve justice like this? Do you really want to kill an unarmed, paralyzed man? Why are you doing this, Mrs. A? I thought you were my friend. Your friend. That's exactly why I'm doing this. Even if we survive the explosion, how will you be able to live with yourself? I won't have very long to live with it. I'll manage just fine. Gosh, you idiot. Without his father, he's harmless. He was the one who supplied him with all this technology. He fulfilled his every single wish. I know this guy's rotten bad. There's no excuse for what he did. But he will be punished for it. Trust me. They'll put him in some stinking nursing home. He'll live his life like a vegetable, stuck to bed. He'll have time to think about what he's done. And he'll never see a computer screen again. <laughs> Isn't that enough? He said, do it. He wants to die and I want to kill him. He wants us all to die. Can't you see that? Isn't that what he's been preaching? A joint suicide. That's why he wants you to shoot him. So we can all get blown to pieces. His final act, the work of his life, are you really going to give him that satisfaction? Remember what you said about feeding the troll? That's exactly what you're going to do if you kill him now. No. Maybe you're right. You should leave, Mrs. A. I'd never want you to get hurt. Oh my gosh, But I'm not you. going away without this fucker dead. I'm gonna strangle you. Even if girl. that means I die too. Mitzi, have you lost your mind? You're going to sacrifice your life for this scum? Exactly. He's a parasite! A worthless, evil piece of shit! It's not like I've got anyone to live for, is it? Not me. What? What about your mother? Your family? She's dead! Yeah, I lied. 
I always lie. I grew up in an orphanage. My family never wanted to know me. The only person that cared about me was Jack. And he's dead! Yeah. Happy now? Absolutely. Anyway. So get the fuck out of here and let me do what I got to do. <laughs> no. I care about you. Do it for me. Come on, mate. It's been a long day. Let's go home. Turn off the computers. Turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. We've won. Yes, we did. Have we really? Mm hmm Trust me. I know we have. How? I'm the cat lady. Mm hmm From now on, I win every single day. wrecked. I will never give an idiot like that the satisfaction. It's me, again, talking about my ordinary little life, as usual. I'm still surprised anyone would want to read this at all. The ramblings of a cat lady. Maybe I'm not a cat lady anymore. Things have changed here since Mitzi's death. Mm. I'll never forget those last few weeks. It's a horrible way to die. Stuck in a hospital bed with no hope and whole life to pass you by. Six months ago, I lost the best friend I'd ever had. But at least we knew it was coming. I had time to accept it, just like she did. And I can only be glad we spent that time together. I'm actually gonna cry. I, don't want to I still miss her though. Every day. Nope. Did I ever mention I got into all this because of her? I opened her laptop the night after the funeral, and there it was. A friend request, over a year old. A little gift from behind the grave. I met some people. We go out sometimes, and I'm not alone anymore. It turned out there were others who felt like I did. I talked to them tried to help. <sighs> it's not your fault, but that was the past. Give yourself a chance to move on from there. Um, I would never go unless I felt to remember. You come out of this, just try to stay positive your whole life ahead of you in the meantime. No, my sickness is not killing, but if I'm I can't read like this. Um, uh, so this was from Mitzi saying all this online, and this is what people are saying. Um, and now I'm writing this blog. I lied. I must confess, yesterday was bad. It was one of those days when you feel like you're back in the past, and all the good stuff that happened was just a dream. But I woke up today, feeling better. Maybe I can never get rid of it. This invisible illness. Maybe it will always be living somewhere deep inside me. Asleep. Waiting. And when it'll hit me, it'll hit me hard. But that's why you can never let it win and you have to keep overcoming everything. Oh, let's see. I'm so not okay with this, y'all. But if there's one thing Mitzi taught me, it's that you have to pick yourself up and carry on. It doesn't matter that life isn't fair. It doesn't matter that you make mistakes. You fall and rise again. Worlds full of liars, traitors, cowards. But every now and then, you meet someone like Mitzi 
we will just smile at it all. Now I've forgiven the world and myself too. I teach myself to smile again. One day I'll get there. I know I will. Even if it takes me not nine, but nine hundred lives. I guess we are. All right, guys, as always, thank you so much for joining me on this journey. And as always, stay sunny.